Good morning, grade eights. I hope you guys are ready for me today. In the Google class that we had, I gave you guys an exercise on how to draw line graphs. Now, here is the answer. For some of you, it might seem a little simple, but remember, some of you might just need this little refresher course. To complete this activity, it is extremely important that all of you have a pencil, a ruler, and of course, the data so that we can draw the line graph as needed. Okay, guys, let's get stuck in. Using a sharp pencil, let us draw a straight horizontal line towards the bottom of the page. This will be our x-axis. Let us turn our ruler so that it lies vertically on the page. And let's also use a sharp pencil to draw a long straight line. This will be our y-axis. Before you now, you should have a set of axes. Once again, make use of the ruler. What we're going to do now is we're going to mark points on the x-axis. I've decided to use every two centimeters as a marking point. So every two centimeters, I draw for myself a little marker. Now that I have the axis, what I will do next is I will just fill in the values beneath each marker. Using the table in the exercise, we start at 2010 and proceed to 2014. Also of great importance is that we need to label this axis. In this case, it is time and the unit in which it's measured, this case will be years. Onto the y-axis. Using the pencil, let's make a marker next to each centimeter and continue to the top of the page on the y-axis. As before, let us uh, add values to the markers. In this case, I will work in multiples of two, and I will mark two, four, six, eight, and so forth, all the way to the top. I will end at 38. Also note I add here the axis title, in this case, the crocodiles, and the unit, in this case, number of individuals. Let us plot our points. My Y value of 12, I've indicated here on the Y axis, I draw a dotted line, as you can see, going out horizontally. My X value is 2010. I draw a vertically dotted line going up. Where the two lines cross each other, here I plot my first point. Let's do the same with the next set of values. My Y value is 20. I draw the dotted red line. And my X value is 2011. I also add the dotted red line. Where the two cross each other, I plot my point. I now repeat this until all the data in my table has been plotted. To complete the graph, I simply join all the points together with my pencil, and there we have the graph. Very important. Make sure that your graph has a heading, as this is important information. Well, grade eights, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. Uh, this might just be in the test or exam. Who knows? Good luck to each and every one of you. Let's go back to Google Class and indicate how much we enjoyed this particular activity.